Well, new tonight, how a Birmingham based ministry is meeting the spiritual and physical needs of villages in India. Now, I actually got the chance to tag along with a group called Never Thirst and document what some call a tough journey for clean water. If you think you know what poverty is, think again. 68% of India's population lives on less than $2 a day. Co-founder of Birmingham-based Never Thirst says that's more than 900 million people. When you see the poverty and the need, um, you can't describe that in a conversation. National Geographic reports that millions are without electricity. I was allowed inside this home in Bihar. You'll find uh, a place to sleep, a place to cook. But you will not find uh, uh, light, electricity. You will not find a television set, a uh, telephone, a bathroom. Everything is mud, completely is mud. Sergeant Swalsing says this home takes about a month to build, but the weather could seriously damage or destroy it. So every year the cycle comes, the rain, rainy season, it will be collapsed again, they go and rebuild the things. According to Cordesia Koran, families in this village in Jharkhand survive on just one meal a day. And until now, safe water was not available. There was a lot of uh, trouble and uh, like uh, hardships in Tangra Toli village. She tells me children could not go to school because there was work to be done at home. The children usually go and get the water from the they took the long path to water as often as four times a day. The route that these villagers normally would take to get access to clean water, I'm told, is a little more than half a mile. Mark Whitehead says thanks to the hard work of those with big hearts, these children no longer have to walk 15 to 20 minutes for something to drink. We, we focus on the ministry component of connecting the two, meeting the physical need, also addressing the spiritual needs. So far, Never Thirst has been able to provide more than 200,000 people with access to clean water. Since 2008, individuals, churches, and businesses have all made donations to the Birmingham nonprofit. Iron Tribe Fitness provided the hand pump well for this village and 150 others. It's really good when you take someone over to show them the difference between this is what they were drinking and this is what they're drinking now. And then some of the benefits that come from that where the kids can go to school now, they're not working, they're not walking four hours a day to get water for the family, those type things. But it all stems from a clean drinking source. Well, coming up next week, how some pastors say they actually risk their lives to preach the gospel and provide clean water. Uh, just so you know, Never Thirst will actually host its fifth anniversary celebration this Thursday on April 17th. For tickets, you can check out neverthirst.org.